Hello, eco-friendly enthusiasts. Today we are on the throne of sustainability and we are reviewing the Trilino composting toilet. Spoiler alert, this isn't your average potty talk. Get ready for a flush of eco-friendly excitement. I wanted to share with you how this fits into my tiny little 13 foot camper space. It fits perfectly right underneath my bunk bed area and it's 14 inches in height, which I actually have about an extra inch here just in case, but it slides perfectly underneath. And then I've got my little wood chips right here next to it. So I've got my litter and the cat litter. <laughs> So kind of funny in this little tiny space, but I opted for the gray because it was a kind of sort of upgrade for the type of camper that this is, you know, it's sleek and modern looking and the rest of my camper is like super vintagey kind of old, you know, style looking. And so this was kind of cool. I've never seen a gray toilet before and it comes in three different sizes. So there's a small, medium and large. They also have a white toilet, but I went a little non-traditional to try something a little different. And I love the way it looks. The really cool thing about this toilet though, is that it does not require water and it does not require electricity to function as a composting toilet. And then it is a lot less expensive than some of the other composting toilets that I've seen. If you're looking for a way to be more free and more mobile while you're out there, this is your answer. Y'all, I hope I don't sound too cheesy on this review. I've been wanting to try this toilet for so long now and it's amazing. And I just have to share it with everybody. And I've been using it for the last week and it has been a breeze compared to my cassette toilet. Composting toilets can be intimidating. This one's not, it's super simple, super easy to use, no electricity, no water needed, no chemicals, it's perfect. Let's talk about the superior German engineering behind the Trilino. This toilet is like the Mercedes Benz of composting toilets. It's sleek, efficient, and built to last. It's so efficient, it's almost like every part was placed by a toilet loving robot with a PhD in engineering. <laughs> Y'all, I'm cheesy, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> so this stuff makes me laugh. Trilino doesn't just handle your waste. It does it with German precision and flair. It's not just a toilet. It's a Teutonic toilet triumph. Sorry, guys. I'm a history major. <laughs> good girl. Yeah, be my good baby. Hello. I love you. But wait, there's more. If you're a road warrior or love the nomadic lifestyle, Trilino is the portable porcelain paradise for you. This composting toilet is perfect for those that want to live on the road. It's compact, lightweight, and super easy to install in a camper van or a tiny home. With Trilino, you can turn any scenic spot into your own personal restroom with a view. <laughs> Road life just got a whole lot more convenient and eco-friendly. Say goodbye to public restrooms and awkward encounters in nature. If you don't want to get caught in a sticky situation, then Trilino is the right toilet for you. On to functionality. Trilino's composting prowess is so efficient, it's practically the superhero of waste management on the road. The urine separator? It's kind of like having a VIP section for liquids. It keeps things exclusive and odor free. And don't worry, you have a separate poop chute in the back, ergonomically designed, and it keeps everything separate and you can have the lid on or off. And then you've got these great compostable bags that come with it that fit perfectly in this little bucket. There's a sense of humor with this company too. I love it. Surprisingly, even with the lid off, there is no odor, especially when used with the right products. And you can use a variety of products in here. You can actually use regular cat litter or you can use the coconut core. I've chosen to get the horse pellets, the horse bedding pellets. They seem to work well and they have a fresh pine scent. So I just throw a handful of those in there to start and we are good to go, literally. Keeping things dry by using pellets or some type of litter is key in keeping things odor free. Dry waste does not smell. And now 
Time for the comfort test. Make sure you're lined up. Oh, yep, perfect. Ooh, nice. Trilino's ergonomic throne, I mean seat. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. Doing a review on a toilet is more comfortable than your favorite Netflix binge spot. Using it is so easy, you might start a fan club for a toilet. <laughs> It's so comfortable. <laughs> now let's talk about sustainability. Trilino doesn't just save the planet. It keeps your human waste out of nature. It's like having a personal waste butler. Always on duty to keep things clean and green and take care of your duty. You can still go behind a bush if you want to, just in a more eco-friendly way. Let's tackle the good housekeeping and maintenance with this toilet. You can see how this lines up perfectly with your pee canister on the inside. So it align aligns with all of that. And then you've got your poop chute in the back. You've got your pee hole in the front. Starting with the front, let's talk about the pee canister and where the pee goes from the diverter. So the diverter fits in just like that. And then your tinkle goes through this very thin membrane here, which is very convenient to be able to take out and clean. Let's see if I can balance that. So this thing just pops right out and you can clean that pretty easily. I have heard where people have had an experience of this coming out, which it's pretty firm in there to me. It's not, it doesn't seem like it's gonna pop out once I put it back in there. So that also keeps the splashback from happening as you're going down like those back roads and your camper's jostling around a lot. So that keeps splashback from coming back out. It also keeps the odor in and contained in the tank and it makes it very simple to clean. It's also got a very wide top on it. So if you need to get your hand in there to clean, it's very simple to be able to do that as well. It looks just like a plain, simple water container. So this is very easy to bring to a vault toilet or somewhere where you feel comfortable dumping. And it also comes with an extra lid so you can totally contain it if you need to bring it further to take it somewhere else where you're more comfortable being able to dump. This is much more discreet to bring to a proper dumping place than a cassette toilet. The cassette toilet is a lot less discreet and you've got to bring the whole canister in to be able to dump it. With this, it's just this simple little uh, container. It takes, a, it holds about two to three days of tinkle at a time. So if you're emptying it every two to three days, you should never get an odor from it. The one thing that I do want to mention that I would change about the design on here is that this is kind of concave. It's when you dump and you turn it upside down, you have to kind of shake it a little bit. And then this also gets in the way a little bit sometimes when you turn it upside down. So you have to be sure to hold on to that to make sure that you're not getting tinkle all over that as well. Otherwise, that's just an extra cleaning step. Other than that, it's super easy, super convenient. One quick hack that I found when I've been out on the road for keeping this whole system clean is if you take your vinegar solution and you just give it a quick spritz every time you're done with your tinkle and you give it just a little bit of water to flush it down. And that helps keep the membrane clean and it helps keep a little bit of vinegar in your pea canister and it keeps everything just nice and neat and clean and tidy. Moving on to the back, this little guy fits perfectly behind the trash can for your number twos. Now, one thing just from using this that I've noticed is that the bags, after about two to three days, get a little bit soggy, the compostable bags. It's a great system. No system's perfect. It's almost perfect. With the compostable bags, as much as I love the idea of using a compostable bag, I'm probably gonna have to switch to a black bag because after about two to three days, no matter how much 
sawdust or how much cat litter you put in there, it starts to break down a little bit. So just for peace of mind and, a, you know, to be a little bit more discreet, because I know a lot of people do have trouble throwing their waste in a trash can somewhere. But I also associate it to kind of like throwing away a diaper. You know, this is better than putting it in nature, regardless of how you look at it. It's as simple as taking out the trash. Just be sure to know the local regulations of where you're at. One last thing to mention about the backside maintenance of the toilet is that after you do your business, make sure to cover it with litter, coconut core, or wood chips to help control the odor. All in all, it's a great system. It works really, really well. It's been my favorite toilet so far while I've been on the road, and I would never go back to a cassette toilet after using this. With the medium-sized Trillino, it holds about two to three days worth of urine, and it holds about five or six days worth of waste. If you're changing it regularly, it shouldn't be a problem. There's no way to check the urine level without taking the lid off, so be sure to check that frequently. One other thing that I love about this toilet is that it is a self-contained unit. So you have a canister inside for both your TT and your poo-poo. And it is really great because if you do have any type of leakage issues, then it goes directly into this bucket and it's very easy to clean. But you can see how it fits very nicely. This, the way that they've designed this to be a separator for women, you may have to sit a little further up every time you do a tinkle just to make sure that it hits the diverter correctly. And, you know, just product placement, make sure that you're placed correctly on the seat uh, when you use it. But men shouldn't have a problem. It seems like they can aim just a little bit better at the hole, but they do have to sit to use this toilet. One other feature that it has that gives it kind of a more luxurious feel is that it has a soft closed lid. Taking care of business. In conclusion, Trillino is the superhero of composting toilets. It's sleek, eco-friendly, and practically a stand-up comedian in the bathroom. If you're ready to join the sustainable squad, Trillino is your eco-sidekick. Well, folks, that wraps up our Trillino composting toilet review. If you found this review flushingly fantastic, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more eco-comedy and drop your best toilet humor in the comments below. Just make sure it's not a number two. Until next time, stay green, stay giggly, and may your toilets be forever eco-friendly. This has been such a game changer from my normal cassette toilet for road life. Not exaggerating. I hope this review helps you to determine whether the Trillino composting toilet is right for you. Hope to see you down the road.